you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I too rise uh, reluctantly in support of uh, this deficit mitigation plan. Uh, I think what this plan really is is a product of delay. Uh, it's a product of delayed decisions that we've seen over the last year. And because we've run out of time for 2010, and we only have about two months left, uh, we're faced with decisions that involve a lot of one-shots. When I look through this document, I see over and over the, again the word sweeps. We're sweeping accounts, we're sweeping savings accounts in order to fill the budget hole in 2010. And fundamentally, I think what we need to begin doing is we need to begin to look at our ongoing expenses, not the one-time expenses or the one-time funds, but our ongoing expenses in order to adjust for the long-term deficit that we're facing in the next three years. Uh, I feel like the past deficit mitigation plans, we have plucked uh, the low-hanging fruit. And I think what this plan today represents is we're pressing all the juice out of that fruit today. And now we're going to be left with the real tough decisions. Uh, part of the process that does concern me is um, what we're faced with, what we left up to do in 2010 when we passed that budget back in September. Uh, we set out goals of having a securitization plan of a billion dollars, of selling state assets uh, to the tune of about 50 million, and to find consolidations and efficiencies of 53 million dollars. And I served on the, the Commission for Agency Outcomes, and we have a lot of work to do. The process has been very slow, and I'm concerned that because those decisions have been met with delay, again, we're putting ourselves into a box that's going to be very difficult to get out of in 2011. And so I do support this proposal, mainly because uh, I am happy to see that we have not resorted to taxes. Uh, we're seeing here today we're addressing some fee issues because as we continue to increase fees or increase taxes as alternatives, we are going to see a reduction in those revenues because eventually Connecticut residents are not going to want to purchase the products that we have to offer because they're just too expensive to do business in Connecticut, to create jobs in Connecticut, and to partake in the quality of life that we have in Connecticut, to go to our beaches and to enjoy the recreations. So I would like to see, after this vote today, that we certainly move forward and begin to not only t tackle the challenges of the deficit in 2011 to the tune of 700 million, but to also begin fulfilling the promises that we made in September when we said that we would come up with a securitization plan, we would sell assets, we would look at agency efficiencies and consolidations in order to begin to close uh, the deficit. Uh, and if we don't do those things, that $700 million deficit we're looking at 11 is only going to grow. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.